What's up guys, welcome to the channel and before we start, I just wanted to say my course was launched yesterday and check it out, check it out. So this is going to be the webinar, it's in the link in the description, check out the webinar here. This is free if you like it, I'll remind you at the end of the video too, but I just want to quickly point this out and then if you like this and you press the start learning, it'll take you straight to the actual course and I explain, in fact, let me, so basically I'll go through everything in here inside the course what's in the course so you can check that out too so i just wanted to mention that at the start of the video you know just so that you get a reminder that the link is in the description two links there and i'll remind you at the end too but let's dive in and let's check this rig out this zander rig and let's review it all right welcome everyone we have this zander rig by lupin house and we're going to do a little review on it. it looks really cool you know loving the colors on it at first glance you know, the rig looks really cool too, although there's a lot of controls on it, it still seems, you know, it's not overwhelming. So if, at first glance, and yeah, let's dive in and take a look. Let's have a look at this. So this is a control at the bottom. This is the main control. And as we can see here, you can take off the body, the arms, which is, this is really cool. I love it when they do this, man. You know, the legs, because you can just, focus on like the torso so I can just focus focus on like the top bit the hips make that moving all right you know so that's that's really cool man I like that sub global vis what is this let's see on off on all oh, right that's the controls right so if we select that control let's taking those off on off yeah on so they're just extra controls at the bottom there which is cool you know let's get this let's turn them off actually we don't need these all right so off the hook off the bat or off the hook off the bat <laughs> this is your hips you have here that's your main control right you've got your main moving the character which is really cool and then you have your gimbal control here so that is this one here. You've got that one in the middle. That's cool. So that's a, you know, you might want to, you know, gimbal is, you know, you don't cross over the axis. So you might want to move this hips this way and you might want to move another axis this way, right? So it doesn't cross over and you get all that spazziness in, in the rotations, right? That you can kind of ULA filter, but, you know, that doesn't always work. Uh, hips, this is your hip, independent hip control, I'm taking it, yes, look, that's really cool, and then you also have, this is your spine, so the spine, all of this is all your spine, I think, that's all, and this is a chest, right, so if you slick this one here, right, it moves everything, right, that's, okay, that's cool, it's got, yeah, that's fine. Look at that. We've got this one here. Yeah, that's fine. And then you've got the chest. The chest, this is really cool. Like you rotate the chest, everything else kind of, you know, it goes with it. It compensates with it. You're going that way. If you're going that way, you know, there's these nice lines you're getting. Or, you know, you can always, you can just use that. Or you can use them individual ones here. So that's completely up to you, which is cool. And... These also are IK as well, so that's really nice. There's a little bit of, there's a bit of volume there. You see, like you can see, there's a bit of squash and stretch, which is really cool. So there, your main control. You got your main rotations on the arms, right? As standard in all rigs, you got, you have all of that FK. You got your IK. If just little, little controls there. You just come here. Then there, you get your IK, which is cool, right? You got all that pole vectors, everything, and then this is a really nice little control here. And your FK, you can kind of move around the elbow just to add a little bit more polish. Excuse me. Uh, rotation, you've got a little, you've got your shoulders there, which moves with the shoulder plate. But then you have this control, which is the shoulder. So that's good for a little secondary motion. Always good to have a bit of that. Uh, same on the other side. And then you've got the head, you've got the head control up here with the mask, the eye controls here. Uh, this is for, oh, that's cool. A bit of a secondary motion you can add to the hair there. Very nice. 
Um, this one, I'm not sure. Okay, nothing's moving there, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is another control here, which moves, yeah, it just moves the hair, right? Okay. Don't think we'll use that that much, but then you have your chain, the chain, this is nice. I like the fact that these controls are sticking out, you know, it's nice, you, have, you can quickly pick them. So you, you can use that for secondary action, and of course in the back here we can use that. All of these rotate to add that secondary motion, very nice. And then what else do we have? What's this? What is this? Well, I'm not sure what that is. There's a neck control here. Yeah, there's a neck control there, which is really cool. So that's the main controls. And obviously you've got the feet, you've got the main control at the back here. And then here you have a rotation. Then you have the toe, this would be, yeah. And then you have, this is the tip, the toe tip, yeah. That's fine. It's the, that's the toes, the tip of the toes, right? That's the ball. Same on the other side and this here. Yeah, that's the toe foot. And then here you have, what's this one? This is the heel, right? Yeah, this is the toe roll. And heel, foot bank as they say. And what's this one? Same, yeah. Toe pivots. The pivots, do we need these on? Oh, that's to edit the pivots. Okay, we don't need those. So yeah, that's really cool there. So that's the basics. Of, and here as well as the elbow on the knees. You have controls here. And we also have, uh, here it is, this the IKF clay bend. So we've got that there. Where we can rotate. You know, if you want to do any spinning kicks and stuff like that. So that's like the overall basics of the rig, right? which is standard you get that all those fk controls and everything and then we have this control here for the hands and then here look you got the fist you already got a preset here fist and open you got spread let's just undo that and then also you can cho choose the pinky ring middle index and move them out and obviously the thumb as well. So that's nice. So you got that. That's the thumb. And then you've got the spread. Right? Ah, sausage fingers. Ah. Alright, that's really cool as well. And then the and then, then the extra controls here are like obviously over here. You can move these around if they're intersecting. So that's really nice. And you've got here for secondary motion, really cool. You know, quite a lot of controls there, which is cool. And then, you know what, you got this, you got uh, these. These are for the hips extra, if you wanted to add a bit of extra, you know. Where if you wanna make adjustments on the line or anything, whatever, line of the leg. Again here, these controls are also for, if the body intersects, you can kind of move it out. Even have a little bit of movement on it, right? When the character's running. Here we have uh, the scarf, very good for a bit of secondary motion. Shoulders here, we forgot about that, isn't it? She's got the shoulder, which is cool. And this is, let's see what this is. All right, you've got another control. Maybe this is a selection one. You've got another control here. Oh, sorry. That is, what is that? What's another control? All right, because this one is also the same, isn't it? So you can use both of them, I guess. Or you can just hide hide some of them, actually. If you can hide these. Oh, that's the clavicle. All right, that's this area here, the clavicle. That's cool, and that is auto clavicle, right? So you can also play with this. So if I move it now. Okay, we've got those. What else have we got? So yeah, and the back here as well. There's also these control, oh, uh, not these ones, which is the cloth, right? 
here as well, cloth. So you can add a bit of your secondary motion in there as well. You know, we're moving the, you know, if, I think a skin pretty nicely though, like, like it moves. You just have to adjust it there, you see, when it goes up. But yeah, overall, I think that's more or less, I mean, if there's extra con controls hidden. Uh, that's the arms, that's fine. That seems to be it. There's no real facial rig. Um, take the mask. Let's see, the mask, we can add it here. So that's the face. Maybe I've got the textures a bit wrong. Okay, so got the mask on there. And yeah, so that is more or less, that's the rig. Pretty cool rig. I like it. I'll do a bit, I'll do a vanilla run with it. Or, uh, I don't know, jump, jump would be cool, right? Or, or maybe jumping off something. We'll test the rig out a bit, check it out, you know, something different. It's always nice to play around with a new rig. Uh, yeah, so we'll check that out. So you can check out, you can, uh, link is in the description for the for the rig as well so you can check that out all right guys not plugging anything in just letting you know that uh my course has been published yesterday it's an online course specifically professional training on how to really grasp those fun fundamentals and apply it to your animations and i'll walk you through all the shots and you can check out the webinar here the links in the description you can check out the webinar my courses are coming off Udemy and Skillshare now. You know, this is going to be an exclusive platform. Everything's remastered, redone, 4K, uh, Shaw, F, MV7, mic. You know, the audio, everything is all upgraded and basically a brand new course. I've also, you know, I've learned a lot in the last four years in animation. I'm share that in the course as well. Uh, so, yeah, have a look at the webinar. You know, if you fancy it, if you don't, that's fine too. But, yeah, take... There's useful information in the webinar, you know, which I think you might you might enjoy. So check it out. You know, if you like it, enroll. There's a private inner group, Facebook group, where I go through all that I'll show you right here. So we have my we have my Maya Mastery group, which is here. But there's also this. So this one is a new one. Other people are queuing up now to come in as well. So that's nice. So yeah, it was just a yesterday's launch. You know, it's doing. Hopefully, you'll, you'll start getting more students in there now and we can start building a community and uh, learning from each other and raising each other's game. So, hi, guys. Here's here's the course breakdown now. Basically, if you're interested in animation or you're a beginner, this is a solid start. The, all of this information will give you a solid start to animate more joyfully and in a fun process. It cuts out all the bullshit and it just gets to the point. And... You can see the breakthrough of the course in much more detail in my webinars, but I'll just go over this now. You're like, here, it's very easy access. Here is all your files, you know, your, uh, your sections, course introduction, principles of animation here, animation theory. So half of the course is animation uh, theory and half is practical. Introduction to Maya, you know, just for animators. So it just talks about what you need to know specifically just for animation so you don't waste your time with other stuff. Maya for animators, so key essentials. Uh, then we start animating. You know, this is like the exercises, small, starting off small first. Again, obviously bouncing ball, you know, the classic, moving on slowly. There's two new rigs in this course as well that you get. You just download those uh, in the rig section. And introduction of walks, there's a walk animation there that you can do. And these will always be getting updated as well, you know. If I've got new animations coming in that are a bit more polished, I will do that exercise, film it, put it on there, update it. It ain't a one-off. Buy the course, that's it. There's a support there as well. Facebook group, like I said, you know. So you've got all that. And this is the bulk. Number eight, game industry and body mechanics animation. This is the bulk of the course. It's very heavy. As you can see, these the sub-modules in here, exercise, 3D animation turn 180. Uh, you got it here, like four part here. Some of them are four parts, some of them are 10 parts, some of them are 12. They're big, you know. Uh, catch animation that you saw. Uh, exercise, 3D jump. So these are all 
little animations you do in video games that are put in here, you know. Kick, you know, just a 10 part series on a kick, punch, for a six part there, take hit with the yogi kid, you can check that out. Get up from a seat, you know, classic exercise, animating a run, seven part there. So you can see already how huge it is, right? So you've got combat, idle, uh, two hit combo, that's a 12 part here. Then you've got animating the hair. This is one video because, you know, there's hair on the character and all the exercises. This is one specific video that just talks about how you can animate hair. Lighting, animation lighting rig. You can check that out. And then creating a showreel. Creating a showreel for a job, creating a CV, applying for a job, registering for gaming industry agencies and networking. So it doesn't just stop exercises. It takes you all the way through. So that's just a little breakdown. If you go to the webinar, there'll be a course breakdown after the webinar you can click on the button and it takes you to a call it takes you to this one so this is the webinar then it'll take you to the course this is where i talk about the course in more detail so and here as well you can start learning at your own pace so everything is here that you need to know and if you're happy with it you can enroll uh, if you think anybody else would be happy in, or anyone you know that wants to learn animation it would be a nice gift to give to someone too all right guys so yeah, that's the animation course. So have a look at the webinar at least. You know, it's free. Check it out. See if you fancy. And uh, join the group. Join the community. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Where we'll be. We'll do. We'll start. We'll do an animation on this uh, character here and get a series of that going. And uh, we'll do some. We'll do some planning, references, and all that kind of stuff. All right, guys. So take care. Stay healthy. Update on my fitness channel coming up as well. Fitness uh, journey. Sorry. Uh, and I'll fill you in with all that as well. So take it easy, guys. I'll see you in the next video.